Hello everybody, uh, so this is going to be a super short video just going over a new update that I just put out. It took me like all week to make this um, and I fixed some stuff that had been really pissing me off whenever I play uh, Fallout VR. Um, so I made things a lot more convenient and this is also fully save compatible so after I uh, go over the changes I'm going to be going to my desktop and I'll show you how to update this um, mod list if you were using a previous version um, so you can keep your save and continue playing. Anyways, the main thing that I've added, uh, I probably won't be able to easily show you this. Um, Heather, quiet down. Uh, the main thing that had been like pissing me off whenever I played this game is Doc Meat. I, I love having him as a companion, uh, but I don't like how he's weak sauce and whenever he gets down in combat, if I was at a stem packs, uh, I'd have to come back to Red Rocket to get him to join me again, which is not immersive, it, at least to me. Um, I'd rather have them be able to just recover themselves. So this took me a long time to get this to work in VR, but first his AI should uh, be much hey, smarter now. Um, the bottle floating in the air. Anyways, uh, if he is hurt in combat, he should attempt to run away and try to avoid fire and then I'll come back and attack once he's recovered a little bit of health. Um, but if you give him a hey. bandana, so he has to be wearing a bandana. I've added the script to all the bandanas in the game. Um, he has to be wearing that and you have to give him a stem pack and then you're going to have to reload the cell for this to actually work. But if he gets down in combat, then he will attempt to stem pack himself if you gave him a stem pack. Or um, if he if he doesn't have any and he, he gets down for good, um, he will be able to auto recover himself in survival mode. So if you wait a little bit, then he'll just get up again and you just continue on your way. Um, and you won't need to run all the way back here if he gets down. So he should actually be a legitimately good companion. This goes for all the vanilla companions as well. Um, and I think even Heather can do it too. Uh, if they get down in combat and you, give, and you have given them a stem pack, then they will attempt to heal themselves. So you don't have to constantly babysit your companions um, as you're traveling the Commonwealth. And they can essentially just take care of themselves just like you can. Um, all right, so the other cool thing is, uh, this is a new mod, but um, if you have a weapon and you see a raider has dropped something and you just see a weapon in the world, there's a new thing you can do. Uh, it's the A button on index, it might be Another thing, but instead of having to take it and swap it out in your trip play, you can just do this and it will instantly switch to that weapon. So this works with all weapons. Um, you can just switch to it quickly out in the world instead of, instead of having to uh, go all the way in your hip boy to change stuff out. Um, and then beds. This had also been pissing me off for like a long time. Um, so if you don't know, in vanilla survival mode, if you sleep on a dirty mattress, typically like a sleeping bag or something, um, you can only sleep for three hours and then you would get an annoying message pop box popping up saying uh, you need a better bed, you need like this kind of bed to be able to sleep longer than three hours. So um, I have changed that. You can now sleep as long as you want on dirty mattresses it doesn't matter uh you'll be able to sleep now you will only stick get the bonus the um the well-rested perk bonus um if you're sleeping on a this type of bed so if you're tired um i believe you'll still you'll still end up um probably fatigued and you also have a better chance of getting diseases even on these types of mattresses, which is a vanilla mechanic, but there won't be a box pop up um, every time you try to sleep in this longer than three hours. So it's very, very useful. Um, all right, that's pretty much it. I would show you the dog meat AI stuff, but um, that's going to take too long and I'm trying to keep this video short. Uh, let me just go to... So when you first, um, let me load into the save. Oh yeah, the other thing. Um, so I had this in this list previously, but I fixed a bunch of stuff with it. So when you're running around the Commonwealth and you save, um, like if I go over to Concord, run over here. And that's a stalker, I think, and I make a save. It should say, Conquered. Um, 
And previously that would say Commonwealth in most of the odd side areas. It doesn't actually have region specific names, but now it does. Um, okay, so let me just load in. So when you first start up the game with this mod, um, it, this is more if you're using a current save, which it fully works with this. Um, you're gonna get a message pop up. Um, this is more for like a new game, but just click through these. Uh, and that's for the weapon switch thing. Um, now, to get dog means uh, saving or healing mechanic to actually work. Um, what you're gonna have to do, oh, if you, so he needs to equip any bandana in the game. Uh, you have to, and to get the companions to equip stuff, if you don't know what that is, um, it's gonna be touchpad on the right index controller and then it's A to select it. Um, but to get it to take effect, what I would do just to make sure the scripts actually work is um, unequip him of any stem packs or anything and then re-equip it. So I'm just gonna give him the red bandana and then give him a stem pack. Um, make sure he has that equipped. And does he have it? Yeah, he does. And we're gonna do A. Um, and now you're either gonna have to exit the game and reload the game or you're gonna have to reload the cell. So you're gonna have to go into an interior and then go to an exterior for him to actually start auto recovering from combat. Otherwise, this goes for any companion. I think there's, if you change equipment, it will stop the script of their auto recovery stuff. So you're gonna have to reload the cell. Um, so just do it right before you like exit the cell if you wanna change out a companion's stuff. Heather can already auto recover herself. Anyways, if you don't have a bandana, he should start with one on a new game. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna stop this music. Um, otherwise, you can just make one on the chem bench under utility. Uh, this, so you can just make him the red bandana of hey. stemming. Um, and give that to him. And uh, now he should be able to auto recover himself. All right. Um, oh, yeah. The other thing that I that I did add is radiation is now a lot more deadly. So right away and shit is gonna be useful. So the, I think there's a hot spot here. There's also more um, radiation hot spots. Yeah. Okay. So you can see it's already at like 22. If I stay here longer, yeah, it is bad. <laughs> Uh, and I'll kill you really fast, especially in water. Um, and there's more radiation hotspots all over the Commonwealth. So um, things like Radaway will now be useful. It was already increased, but I needed to make it harder. <laughs> it's it's not that bad though, so now you'll actually have a use for all those uh, Radaways that you've been collecting. Or you can go to a doctor. Um, okay, let me switch over to my desktop and I will show you how to uh, update this and keep your current save game. So uh, let me do that right now. All right, so I'm on my desktop and I'm gonna show you how to quickly update this list if we were previously using my um, mod list. But before I do that, there is a couple of extra things. Um, so I've reorganized Mod Organizer 2. Anything under a red tab can be customized. Um, anything else I would not touch except for the stuff that I um, have down below unless you know what you're doing um and i've also included some optional stuff which you can, can check on if you want so i have the oculus ui stuff already included now by default you're still gonna have to go through the community bindings page in steam vr to uh, change that to whatever oculus bindings you want i am not familiar with that so you're on your own for that one um I have this now, which is going to be useful if you're streaming or doing Let's Plays or something. Uh, this will change all of the Diamond City radio music to copyright free version, so you won't get a copyright strike if you decide you want to play the radio in the game. But, you know, it's optional, do whatever you want. And then I have the Be Haptic stuff, which, um, if you don't know what Be Haptics is, I actually just ordered one myself, but I um, don't currently have it and I haven't tried it. Um, but this is a haptic vest for VR. So it works in a ton of stuff. And Shazav, the person who's made a lot of awesome mods for Skyrim and Fallout has integrated it with Fallout. So you can like feel rain or if people shoot you or something or grenades or whatever. Um, and it seems really interesting. 
So um, I'm excited to try this mod out and try it with some other games when I eventually get it. But the, this isn't an ad for Be Haptic. So anyways, uh, let me get into updating this. So first, um, you can navigate to uh, your saves folder, which um, it's going to be wherever you install the list. So open up Explorer, go to wherever you decided to install this to, wherever Mod, mod Organizer 2 is, go to Profiles, um, Fallout Year Central's original, or if you had made a copy of this, go to that profile. Now this saves thing, um, you want to copy this. back up and paste um, and then also back up any other changes that you made to mods so I, I don't I don't know what you did but if you like um, for example if you change the smooth movement um, I and I stuff on your side uh, back up the I and I if you decided to mess with that if not if you just kept it on default you don't have to uh, basically any all of your personal changes are gonna get deleted when you update this um, <clears throat> So you'll have to reinstall some stuff. But anyways, after you've backed that up, you can go ahead and close this. And then just navigate to wherever Wabadak is, the actual program of Wabadak, wherever you put that, open it up. Um, and then just go to wherever my thing is, right here, click on this. And that's the readme, whatever. Um, and then you're just gonna point it to the same folder that you had before and the uh, same download folder. So I made a test for this. Um, all right, and then make sure you click this on overwrite installation when you're updating. Um, and then just click on that and it'll just hash out everything that's missing and it should be a lot faster and it'll download the mods that you don't have. Um, I am not going to wait for that. So after that finishes, uh, just open it up, open it back up, and then um, go to the profile section, this, and that will probably not be there. So just recopy over your saves. Um, and then you're good. You can just play the game again. So, all right, that's it. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, oh, yeah, before, before I go, um, I made a website recently, it's www.gingusvrmods.com, um, I'll leave the link down below, so, you know, check it out if you, if you want, if you care enough, um, I, you know, I'm just probably gonna keep the stuff I make on here, um, just to keep it more organized, so, yeah, that's it, um, alright, cool, thank you for watching, everyone, I hope you had a great rest of your day, bye!